How do you choose the colors for a painting? Uh, mostly we do it by instinct, what we think looks good or what's out there in nature. But sometimes we use science, the science of color, to help us along. Here's an example. It's a little look at the color wheel and the tetradic harmonies. As the green box spins around, it stops wherever there is a tetradic harmony found. The big question is, how do you use this in your painting? So we'll look in class, we'll look at uh, some historical examples, and uh, I'll give you a little demonstration of how it might be used.